All right, Fishaholics, it's bright and early. Welcome back to another episode. Just hopping in the truck, and we're gonna head down to the water, see if we can find some nice snook today. We made it to the spot. The conditions are looking really nice. Very little wind. Might even have some potential to catch some snook on top water, which would be really sweet. But uh, anyway, if you're recently uh, shopping around looking for some new fishing gear, check out today's video sponsor, Top Fishing Deals. And basically their new site is going to be uploading daily the best fishing deals on the internet across all brands. And uh, I mean, if you want to save some money, who doesn't? And spend, of course, more time out on the water, definitely check them out. I'll put the link down in the description. Now let's get the kayak off the car, plop it in the water. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed at the end. And uh, let's see how the morning unfolds, see if we can make something happen. Right, we out here and look at these beautifully flat calm conditions perfect for throwing some top water so I've got this mirror lure type spook plug on to try we cannot ignore an opportunity to see some top water explosions and also I got a little surprise for you so check this out this is the original first of its kind fishaholic finback shad and coming soon is its bigger brother so this is pretty cool. We've got some new colors coming and a bigger size. So uh, if you keep watching the channel, you stay kind of up to date or follow me on Instagram at Fishaholic Fishing or at JNH Tackle and you'll uh, be kept up to date for when that newer size is coming. <clears throat> so I'm not even really sure what the tide is doing right now. It looks at a somewhat higher level because I can see the waterline marks on some of the pilings. But we're just going to fish some of these docks and pilings along this area, which is kind of being shaded by the sun right now because the sun is coming up in the east and uh, we're on the west, no, the east side of the river. Ooh, that's a cast. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, how did we not get at least a swirl there? Whew. Hmm, not a water temp is 66. It could be a little cold for these snooky to be aggressive and feeding on top. I, I'm not really sure, but we're just trying it, you know, we're fishing. All right, well, we just fished like a whole array of docks and good, really good structure. And I would show you, but the, the lighting would be all wrong, but uh, not even a sniff or a little swirl, which is unbelievable. I can't, like, uh, I've caught a lot of snook off those docks, very docks I just fished at night, but, um, you know, maybe because we had a little bit of a, like a coldish front last night. It got down to like 50 degrees, uh, maybe even into the 40s. It was pretty chilly. And uh, the water temp is only 65 right now, so it's not like the warmest. Maybe uh, the snook won't hit top water when the temperature is like that. You know, I'm still kind of trying to dial in and gauge what, how snook feed in certain types of water temperature. But uh, we'll probably switch to, uh, you know, soft plastic or something and just start working more structure and see what happens. All right, so I clipped off the top water. I was only using 30 pound fluoro. And since I think we're gonna be fishing some heavier structure, I switched to 40, about like three and a half feet of it. Fishaholic finback shad and three quarter ounce jig head. And now we're gonna start working along here. seawall here <laughs> oh ho, ho, there should be a fish oh terrible cast but there should be a fish hanging on the back side of this dock area the current actually flows underneath there and it's ripping around the side here too it's like a nice eddy area it's gotta be something here Whew. yeah we're gonna get a big one fish of the day. Real tight along the bottom, about seven feet down. Woo! Not 
Not a bad snooky. Probably about 25, 26 inches. Oh, I'm gonna let you go. Don't worry. Oh gosh, it's not breaking my rod. A lot of current now. <laughs> She goes all right good starter snook and uh, notice the temperature is now touching 68 it's getting up there maybe that's why we finally got our first bite oh my gosh just saw a swirl there oh my gosh we've got massive fish chasing bait right here what the heck was that Big jack or big snook. All right, well, we're making moves. Unfortunately, for the last like hour or so, or maybe longer, or quite some time, uh, we haven't had any other bites besides that one and only snook we caught. And uh, we were up inside the marina and I did see some big fish chasing bait, but we couldn't get any uh, bites, nothing. So. Uh, I don't know. It was uh, lining up to be just such a perfect morning, and now it's like 11 o'clock. And uh, this day went from you know being or had the, having the potential to be great to uh, not so great. And uh, I mean, I guess that's just fishing. So we're gonna try and uh, head up the river and go to a different area, maybe slow it down, fish some smaller presentations, and see if uh, that'll do it. Just to put a few more fish in the boat, and then I kind of want to get out of here by like 12 or one o'clock uh, i forgot my buff so I'm, it's pretty brutal out here and i'm putting on like some spf 70 uh this good stuff right here uh, neutrogena spf 70 but uh it's still hitting me pretty hard so i'm gonna need to uh not be out here all day would be a good idea so let's head up the river switch some presentations around and see if we can get on a bite i talked to some other fishermen too and they said it was really tough all around and they were in a boat so they've been going all over doesn't really look too good for us in the kayak, but you never know, maybe a hot midday bite is uh, what the snook will be doing. Finally, something nice. Gosh, I'm not sure what it is. Probably a jack. <laughs> I'm dodging docks and boat engines. Whew. What do we got here? Oh, nice red. Heck yeah. Oh. <laughs> Swallowing salt water now. Whew. Yeah. This is the bite. Surprise bite I was looking for. Whew. Haven't caught a red since Jacksonville. Oh, take it easy, baby. Look at that. Whew. Crushed the live target mullet. Such a sweet catch. Whew. I'm actually gonna put him back in the water, try and set my camera up, and we're gonna get a quick picture and then throw him back. All right, check that out. Closer look at that beautiful red. Got the live target mullet sitting right in the corner of his mouth. Heck yeah, such a sick catch. This is gonna <laughs> make the day from breaking. Heck yeah. All right, let's get him back. All right, back in action. Let's go hit that exact same dock because if there was one thing that I did learn on my way south to Florida fishing Charleston and Jacksonville is these reds like to concentrate. So there could be a possibility of more sitting under the same dock. And uh, I'm using 40 pound fluorocarbon, 20 pound Power Pro Slick, 3000 Tsunami Evict, and my uh, Tsunami Carbon Shield 2 seven foot six fast action spinning rod. It was such an epic battle with that fish. It was so fun. Let's see if we can have some more. 
So how I'm fishing the live target is I'm casting it into the zone, letting it sink down to the bottom. And, and because these baits are relatively stiff, in order to get that tail moving, you gotta fish it kind of fast. So I want it on the bottom when I start the retrieve. And then I hope that it get, goes through the strike zone as I'm reeling it away from the structure. So to be honest, that was actually my first redfish I've ever caught out of the St. Lucie. So it's really sweet, total surprise. I love it when stuff like that happens out in the water because I'm gonna learn something completely different. Oh, there's a little snook. <laughs> Right where that red was, too. All right, these fish are hanging out under this dock for some odd reason. Easy, buddy. I actually paused it there for just a second, and this guy slurped it up. What's up, baby? There he goes. All right, well, let's head out of our little magic dock spot, and we'll keep on moving, probably come back here and when we finish the stretch. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was so cool! Did you see that? Oh man, that was better than catching them. <laughs> I kept my hands dry and just got to see them explode on it next to the kayak. That right there is why <laughs> kayak fishing has its advantage of stealth when uh, fishing really shallow water, like two, three feet. That was so awesome. All right, just hauled out. And man, oh man, we fished hard today. It wasn't easy. Whew, I actually fished for like another two hours after we had that blow up, like right here next to the side of the kayak. And uh, it's crazy, I finished the rest of that stretch where we caught the red, the little snook, and we had the blow up. And those three bites were like, on the same three adjacent docks and within like the same 20 minute time period uh, and <laughs> then we just haven't had a bite the last two hours i actually even crossed over the saint lucy fished like another similar looking area and i think i had like one little like 10 inch snook uh, on the live target like fall off on the side of the kayak so man we uh fished it hard i'm tired i'm hungry and uh you know i actually just got back to the ramp and ran into the same fisherman that I ran into earlier on the water and uh, he was actually impressed after I caught that that snook because uh, they were struggling and uh, we just got back to the ramp at the same time and he didn't catch any snook today or any real like good catches but uh, he was impressed with the red we caught and um, you know the snook we caught so we did better in the kayak uh, than they did and they were using bait all day so I guess uh, we'll take what we got and uh, you know we gave it our all we just got to keep at it and Maybe uh, tomorrow or uh, the next day we'll get something better or bigger or get on a better bite. So hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, don't forget to check out Top Fishing Deals. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description if uh, you're you know, trying to save on uh, some new fishing gear. And I'll put my full Outback Hobie rig and all my tackling equipment down in the description. You know the deal. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll see you on the water or in the next vid. And like always, never forget, live to fish. Fish to live. <laughs>